All right, uh, hello all, and welcome back. Uh, this is a viewer request on how to install NVIDIA proprietary drivers, uh, specific to a desktop tower computer. Um, I use a GeForce uh, GTX 970, um, and there's different uh, driver versions for Arch Linux, so I have a couple of uh, pages open here. Here's the Nouveau code names. <laughs> And if you noticed, uh, each one is uh, broken up into different uh, GeForce versions. Uh, so the, the one I have here is 750 and 900 series or Maxwell. So I guess that's the latest one so far. And, and uh, there's more as you scroll down. So if you look on the Arch Linux documentation, you look at the code names and it gives you examples. If you're using the 400 series, like what this is, uh, this uh, 900 GeForce uh, 970, you just uh, have to um, install NVIDIA or if you're using an LTS kernel, NVIDIA LTS and then NVIDIA-LibGL. So NVIDIA and NVIDIA-LibGL and in the notes here, um, you do this through sudo pacman dash less and those two I just mentioned. And if asked to remove Mesa-LibGL, answer yes or just type Y. Let them install and restart your system. And whatever, um, if you're using an 8,000, 9,000, ION, etc., you install NVIDIA 340XX and 340XX LibGL, 600, 6,000, 7,000 series, 304. And 304. I hope that makes sense. It's a little tricky. And the uh, 500 series is no longer supported, so you just have to install the uh, Nuvo drivers. Okay? So far, so good? So I'll put a link to that, to both of these pages, so you can look them over. And uh, so I've already installed them because I had problems recording without installing the drivers. However, there's more I get. Um, I get the lib32 uh, binaries for 64-bit system, um, specifically, mostly for gaming. So sudo pacman dash capital S or pack as I use for an alias and these uh, packages. So just open a terminal and I'm just going to paste that in and press enter and just let that download and install. All right, uh, another package I, I forgot to mention is the NVIDIA settings is now a separate package. So you won't have any NVIDIA utilities in your uh, main menu. So sudo pacman dash capital S NVIDIA and it's called dash, uh, NVIDIA dash settings. And I'll zoom in here just so you can see what I typed. Okay, and just press enter and press enter for yes. And that's it. And the next step is uh, to enable NVIDIA Persistence D, or daemon service. So again, I have this documented, so I'll just upload these. So you can just copy and paste into a terminal. So I'll just uh, clear the screen, oops and paste that in okay and everything's happy now if you want to check the glx info 32 it's uh, just a glx info 32 pipe and then grep open gl i'm not sure about it. i'm not sure if it's case sensitive now sometimes this doesn't work until i restart the system so i'll just paste that in yeah it's uh that's fine. Uh, I usually get that for rebooting. Uh, v V A I info uh, does seem to work though, so I'll paste that in. Uh, maybe not. Okay. So again, I'll have, to, I'll have to restart the system. So before doing that, I usually get uh, a utility called NV Doc. Um, it's a handy uh, control access to the control panel. But without root access, but you can do some things. So 
I'm just going to install that sudo pacman capital S NV doc. And uh, it won't run at startup. So if you're using whatever you're using in XFCE for its uh, session and startup application start and click add and give it a name and video doc. And I'll zoom in here and the command you can put a description if you wish, but command is NV D O C K. Okay, and press OK. So that will run after restarting the system. And the reason I uh, usually get that is so I can control the temperature with the NVIDIA X config cool bits and it's option four. So it just enables the thermal settings. So I'll just again I'll copy and paste that in. And that's it. Okay, so I'll be back after another uh, system reboot. Okay, so after rebooting, you can run the GLX Info32 and press enter. And there, he's happy. And uh, VAI Info. And that's all good. Okay. Now, there's a couple of things with the uh, NVIDIA um, settings. It's First of all, it's listed under Other. Uh, I would prefer it under settings or system, for example. Now, if you have a menu editor like Zame or Menu Libra or something, you can actually manipulate that. So, this is XAME, Zame. Notice here it says NVIDIA server settings and it has a category. So, I'm just going to delete that and click add and then choose something like system. Press OK. And uh, the command, you can either put in GKSU or sudo. Then uh, under this, if you're using Zame, save changes. And hopefully it'll take uh, right away. So let's go to our start settings system, sorry. There it is, NVIDIA server settings. And you can do stuff like uh, show do you really want to quit. Now for the uh, Zorg display server configuration, I have two monitors. I've already, um, I usually disable it uh, until I need it. I don't use it that often. However, um, if you do that through uh, the display manager settings, display settings in your desktop configuration, it won't always stick. So you have to save to your uh, Zorg configuration file. And since I did the cool bits, it's already there. If you show preview, sometimes it doesn't work. I don't think I can expand this. Yeah, it's not working anymore. It used to show expand and preview. Anyway, so merge with existing and then click save. And you should be good if you have two monitors or what or more, and it doesn't seem to be working the way you want. Um, this usually seems to work okay so quit that down here at the bottom is the nvidia dock and as i said i like to keep an eye on the temperature right now it's at 59 so you can double click go to thermal settings now it's gone up to 61 that's because they're recording as well you can enable gpu fan settings and i usually set it to around 20. And i press enter and click apply and that'll start, the temperature uh, will start dropping over time. So you just, uh, another, whoops, untick this really want a quick dialog and quit. And you can uh, actually reload and you hover over it and you see the temperature's going down a little, but I am recording, so it is uh, using more CP, GPU time. Uh, incidentally, uh, sometimes, okay, since I'm recording, but uh, the memory does drop, memory usage, because it's, if, depending on your card, like this one has four gigabytes, it does take some of the um, load off your system memory, so some interesting effects from that. And finally, if you want, from the Arch Linux user repository, if you have Yawart installed, uh, you can get GPU test and you can manipulate the script uh, so it will run certain benchmarks. Um, and if you don't install the 32-bit uh, libraries and the VAI stuff, 
especially the 32-bit, uh, it won't run. So that's why partly to, to run that. Uh, but I don't want to run it now because I'm recording and it's really laggy if I try to run it. All right, so I think I covered as much as I can remember. And I hope that helps anybody out uh, with installing proprietary NVIDIA drivers. It is much easier, uh, to be honest, than Catalyst drivers. I used to have uh, AMD uh, 6870, and you have to you have to use the Arch Linux user repository and follow the, the prompts, and it's a uh, it's more it's a more lengthy process. Uh, but NVIDIA is just is it can be as easy as typing NVIDIA NVIDIA libgl to start with to get your proprietary drivers at least working. All right, so that should do it for this one. And thanks so much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.